Well, school is just about out. Summer is set to begin. Oh, pool time, cookouts, it's all good times, Eric. Yeah, the last thing you want to do this summer or really any time is uh, yeah, a trip to the hospital. Nobody wants that. Uh, let's go up here. we got a guest to talk to this morning. Our chief operating officer from Cone Health, Dr. Mary Jo Cagle, is here to discuss ways that keep us out of the hospital. Yeah, so this conversation is part of our new two-year well-being partnership with Cone Health. Very excited to have you here. Thank you. So, Dr. Cagle, Cone Health has done a lot in our communities to make sure people are healthy, even our children, and we all, of course, stress the importance of a good diet and exercise, but something we don't think about often, clean air and safe housing, and how it's key to controlling asthma. What are your thoughts on that? So it's very interesting. What we do know is what the hospital and your doctor can do for you only affects 20% of your health. Wow. What we know about asthma is that that other 80%, our exercise, our diet, and our homes, and the clean air are really what make a big difference for asthma. We recently partnered with UNCG and looked at the number of children that were showing up in our EDs with asthma attack. Mm -hmm. And we looked and we were able to do with some of our data and find out where those children were coming from. And we were able to pinpoint two neighborhoods that had an overabundance of those children. Oh, wow. And uh, we partnered with, uh, with the Cottage Grove community and Avalon Trace community where we found those children. And with UNCG and some other partners and looked at their homes and found that we, they needed carpet replaced that hadn't mm -hmm. been replaced mm -hmm. near. Moldy they had carpet. mold in mm -hmm. the carpet, leaky roofs and needed their air filters replaced regularly. Right. And so we found some great community partners to help us do that. And it made such a great difference. They had a marked decrease in ED visits and the kids were able to stay in school. So we had that added benefit. So what I would offer to our viewers is really check your air filters, mm -hmm. making sure they're being changed regularly. Check things like shower curtains, making sure they're being changed regularly. And if we've got any leaks in the roof or carpets that need to be changed, those things make big differences Huge. for family members with asthma. Yeah, I would have never thought 80% of this is in, at home. But all right, right, so recently you guys were a part of an initiative to make public parks tobacco free in the city of Burlington. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that is the most stringent controls that have been passed so far in the state. And our partners at Impact Alamance really were the advocates around that. Really what we want to do is to provide great, safe, healthy spaces for children and adults to be able to play and to have great physical uh, spaces for activity because we know that physical activity leads to our physical health. Mm -hmm. And so they really uh, were great advocates for tobacco-free zones because again, tobacco is, uh, as we know, a lung irritant. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're really trying to decrease the exposure for as many people as possible. So they did great work there. And as we continue our conversation, we really want you at home to weigh in and join in on this conversation. So go ahead and grab your phones, your tablets, go to wfmy.slash now. Our interactive question this morning, what keeps you from getting health care when you need it? No doctor, is it the cost? office as uh, they're closed too early maybe it's the office location or maybe the doctor can't meet you in a timely manner what do you uh, do then so dr cagle will let you answer while everybody at home weighs in so one of the most common things i hear is that it takes too long to get an appointment mm -hmm. or i don't have a doctor and then when i try to get an appointment it takes too long so i do think that one of the uh, things we're trying to do with cone health is First of all, can we get more doctors in the region, but also to come up with innovative ways for people to get appointments. If you go to the Cone Health, conehealth.com home website, you'll find that you can get e-visits, mm -hmm. you can get video visits, yeah. and we've even developed something we call Instacare. That office is over on Lawndale, which are walk-in like retail clinics. So we're trying to come up with a variety of different ways for people to access a doctor's visits separate from trying to get into a doctor's office appointment. I figure technology would play a big yes, role in yeah. that for sure. All right, so a big topic in schools is uh, the lack of school nurses. And yeah. um, Cone Health works with Guilford County Schools on pinpointing schools that need that. What's been going on with that? Yeah, so one of the things we did, again, using our ED data was uh, partner with Guilford County Schools and say, let's look and see in our EDs 
from which schools are we getting most of your children? Since you can't afford to put a nurse in every school, let's put them in the schools where most of our EDs, especially ED visits with children with chronic problems. Mm -hmm. And so we did that and we said, let's rank them from the schools that are having the most visits to the schools that are having the least visits. And we provided that data to Guilford County Schools. And so they started their nurses at the, the schools that were using the ED the most, mm -hmm. and then down from there. And so as they're able to hire more nurses, they'll just work their way down that list. And so it made most sense. Yeah. So we provide the nurse, they provide the nurses at the schools that have the greatest need. Perfect. Looks like you have a solution yeah. in place, which yeah. is great. Dr. Cagle, thank you so much for your time this morning and helping us launch our new Two Year Wellbeing a Health Initiative with Cone Health. We appreciate it. My pleasure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results because we asked you to weigh in this morning. What keeps you from getting health care when you need it? Looks like the majority of you are saying cost at 80%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's going up, just up to 82% yeah. there. I would have to join in there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, next week, we're going to be talking with uh, Cone Health about today's dad trends in father food as a, to your well being as well. So stick around for that. We'll be doing that next week. It's going to be fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're coming Thanks right for back. Having me.